Hi everybody, I'm Mike Anthony from Gramercy Tavern. Hope you're hanging in there. Uh, tonight I wanted to show you um, how to prepare a local fish that is called a fluke. This fish is really popular all around the Long Island Sound this time of year. Fluke is a flat fish. It swims on the bottom of the bay and in the ocean. It has these really discreet but beautiful little designs in its skin that are made for predators to miss it. You can see it has a funny head. This fish starts out as a guppy and it looks like every other little round fish, but it develops as it matures. And the way to tell the difference between a fluke and a flounder is this one has its left eye that floats up and makes it a flat fish. See that left eye? And one of the things that's interesting is that it has such a very fine, light little uh, scale, and it's easy to take off. I'm using this interesting tool that's Norm's Magic Scaler. Uh, just simply making this circular motion and rubbing the, the scales off of the top of the skin. So I'm gonna start by just giving it a little scratch on its belly to loosen up all of these scales. It's interesting, it has a completely different coloration. See how light it is? But there are essentially four fillets, the belly, the back, the belly, and the back. And we're gonna take this off in just one moment after I rinse this fish. All right, so I have a pair of um, fish scissors here that are sharp and a little rigid. And while this fish is, has very soft fins, I'm still gonna show you how to take them off. Um, most fish, it's better to remove these just so again, your knife can make a clean stroke across the fillet and other fish have uh, fins that are you know, much more rigid and can ultimately hurt your hands if they're in the way. These are, are very easy to, to take off. So I'll show you how to trace the, um, the fish. I'm gonna uh, follow the backbone right down the middle and just start by making a nice cut on right on one side of the backbone. And then there, it's interesting, you can feel the, the way this head is shaped, it's a little bit curved. And so I'm gonna just, so as not to waste any meat, remember someone went to the trouble of catching this fish, we sacrificed it, we wanna make sure we don't waste any of it. And so I'm just gonna also follow the line, the fin line all the way down, which is gonna make the process of filleting this fish nice and easy. So I'm not really cutting very deep, just cutting through the outside of the skin and hear this sound that's the tip of my knife that's just kind of like rubbing right along the bone and i know that i'm in a good place by by feeling where where that knife is going and then i'll take the uh, the sh sharp blade of this uh, utility knife and i'm gonna just follow the backbone of the fish as long as i hear that bone i know that my the tip of my knife is in a good place letting the blade of the knife cut in long, smooth strokes so that the texture of the filet is actually smooth and it'll cook evenly. And you can see that once it comes off, I have a little bit of what we call the beard, which can be great in stock or braised, but generally speaking, what I'm really looking for is the heart of this filet. All right, so the two fillets are off. Let's flip it over and do the same. You actually have a line, you can see this line that runs right down the fish that is pretty much the line that we're gonna follow to trace through the skin. And then I'll follow the, the belly line around and the head. So now I'm just gonna break these bones and uh, I'll clean the head. What that means is just um, kind of lifting up the, the and taking out the gills. They're here. They come out with just a little snip. And the reason why we take them out is because that's how the fish filters impurities in the water. So generally speaking, we don't want that in, in the stock. Um, and in this case, it's just a short uh, sauce that I'm making. So. I'll set those aside. There's one on each side here. And I'm gonna also 
just remove the, um, the belly and the innards. And I'm just gonna break the bones in smaller pieces so that they'll fit in the, the size pot that I have to work with. And the bone is really small, so one little, we cut with the front third of the knife and we break with the back third. So I just gave it a nice chop like that and um, just pull the pieces apart. And then one more time, same thing right here. Break the, the bone and just pull the pieces apart. And I'll run them under cold water for about 10 minutes uh, before, uh, before I use them. So the last technique I wanna show you in order to get these fillets ready is uh, I'm gonna take the skin off. And so uh, I'm gonna hold on to it with the, my fingers in a pretty tight grip. And I'm just gonna start the edge of the knife right underneath the flesh and I'm separating the skin from the white flesh and I'm working the knife a little ways up the, the skin. And then I'm gonna kind of put a little more effort into my left hand, which is holding the skin. And I'm gonna to try to hold the blade of the knife a little more still. You'll see me working it a little bit, feeling so that it follows the contours of the skin. But most of the pressure is coming from my left hand, pulling the skin against the, the knife. And that way, what we get is most of the flesh stays intact on the filet and, and not a lot of meat on the, on the skin itself. All right, and that's how you filet a flute.